shaitan's plan. You watch and see, I will show them and I will command them to change the creation of yours, Ya Allah. What that means is they won't be happy with what you've given them. They won't want it. You know, this is why in Islam, there are certain things prohibited. A man has a face. Be happy with that face. A female has a face. Be happy with what Allah has granted you, where your nose is, your eyes and so on. If you are not happy with what Allah has given you, Wallahi, that's a disaster. That is ungratefulness, ingratitude. Why do you compete with the others? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. So then a person has plastic surgery and what have you, all that will result in regret. Obviously, if someone's face is completely deformed after having been involved in an accident, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. There is a chance and a possibility that that particular individual may be going through some form of surgery in order to rectify what was wrong. But it is not allowed to go out and beautify yourself through various types of surgery and what have you. And this is why the hair that Allah has given us, we must be happy with it. It is prohibited for men and women to add extensions to their hair, which does not belong to them. These extensions that are sewn onto the hair is equivalent to telling the creator, I'm not happy with what you gave me. I'll show you I can come up with something better. Allahu Akbar. What a dangerous statement. We want to add to what Allah has given us. Allah gave us hair. So what if it's very little? So what if you are bald? What's wrong? I think it's actually quite good. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all protection. It's not a bad thing. Remember, what someone doesn't like, someone else will like. Don't get too worried. Allahu Akbar. It is a duty of us that we realize some people will admire you as you are. Allah has created people to like you with a dark complexion or with a light complexion. It's got nothing to do with what Allah has given you to say, I'm not happy with it. Alhamdulillah, be thankful because shaitan's plan, one of his plans, and we need to know his plan, is to make us ungrateful for what we've been given by the creator himself. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us protection.